In this module, we'll give an introduction to the usage of the raw field decision support tools. Before we start, a short reminder of the raw field objectives and the role of those decision support tools in the whole process. Start with Why was a global bestseller written by Simon Sinek. He presented the idea that great leaders inspire others by putting the why, the purpose, before the how, the process, or the what, the product. We could start with a similar question. Why should we use decision support tools? Or maybe we should go back a bit earlier in the process of decision making. Why should we be interested in former landfills? Because if there's no reason to pay attention to landfills, why should we invest time and effort in using these raw field decision support tools? Of course, there is a good reason why we should take care of old landfills. Estimations pointed out that we have about 100,000 of those sites in northwestern Europe. The good news is that our current waste management policies result in a limited percentage of landfill waste today. The bad news is that there isn't always an appropriate long-term management for old landfills, especially not for the vast amount of landfills closed before the year 2000, introduction of the European Landfill Directive. The result is a lack of information on the potential stock of materials, energy and land, but also on the environmental risks. How to organise this preparedness? First, let's get back to the facts. 100,000 sites. Suppose that a full-scale investigation, remediation and preparation of the redevelopment project of an average landfill site will take five years, two full-time equivalents per year and an overall cost of half a million euro. You don't need rocket science to find out the requested resources during the common period are 200,000 qualified employees per year and 50 billion euro. Nor the human resources, nor the financial resources, nor the technical resources are available. This means that we have to make choices and the raw field decision support tools will facilitate this process. Making priorities is based on the content of the landfill and the context wherein they're situated. These data are collected and stored in the Enhanced Landfill Inventory Framework and exported to the Decision Support Tools, Sedelian and Orion. This two-step concept is chosen to limit the efforts in the early stage of characterization and evaluation. Rofil introduced this method in view of large-scale prospection campaigns. The usual, the user will get first a ranking of the evaluated landfills and an estimation of the landfill potential for recycling of materials, recovery of energy and reclamation of land. Even if you're not evaluating a database with hundreds of thousands of sites, this Sedalian tool will give you also a result of an individual landfill. Keeping in mind that many landfills will have low potential in the short term, and the fact that remediation and redevelopment processes are time-consuming, the raw field scheme offers also quick responses and interim uses. These kind of actions allow you to bridge the time gap between the prospection and the redevelopment phase. The Orient tool is the next step and aims at evaluating the most promising landfills. Rawfill has set up a kind of plug-in system the Dashboard Dynamic Landfill Management. This concept integrates relevant international available models with region-specific models. The final result of the Orient tool is a go, no-go answer for setting up a business model for the valorization of the landfill site. This outcome answers the question, what's the future of this landfill? The sustainable redevelopment of landfill sites is not virtual reality. In the Landfill Miner Guide, you'll find pilots and full-scale examples. When the tool opens, please go to the Introduction tab, when you use the tool for the first time. Here you can find a brief description of the tool as well as a summary of its purpose, the workflow and the contributing partners. The goal of the Sedelian 
tool is twofold. First, discover the LFM potential for existing landfills. Second, update the existing information available for a landfill provided by local authorities through a site visit with the Cedillion field app. In the public version of the tool, the site visit option is not included. The workflow of Cedillion is pretty straightforward. An original amount of data, let's call this general data, is provided by a local government or can be entered manually from, for example, your own archives following the database format. These data can be used to make a preliminary ranking of the landfills. We encourage you to check the data on the landfill during a site visit. After a comparison between the general and the newly collected data, the new information can be used to update the general data in the working database. It is the information present in the tab Working Database that will be combined with the raw field scoring to give a final ranking on the enhanced landfill mining potential of the listed sites. We will now proceed through the whole tool tab by tab. The content of the general database is a primary source of information. When you start using the ranking tool, you can change the data in the working database, but the data in the general database will not be changed. The information per landfill is composed of general information and six different criteria. Type, age, volume, use, accessibility and surroundings. In case you need to enter information yourself, it's important to notice that the Cedillion database has a specific format. The information per landfill is composed of general information and six different criteria. Type, age, volume, use, accessibility and surroundings. It is not necessary to insert data in every field, just complete the database with the most accurate information you have. The criterion General Information contains the Dynamic Landfill Management Identification, abbreviated by DLM-ID. This will not automatically be assigned when a new record is entered. Please use existing unique landfill IDs when already assigned. If you paste a whole set of records at once, be sure that you attribute unique IDs. Additional general information can also be entered, like the landfill name, municipality, postal code, street, house number, ca cadastral codes, and the X and Y co coordinates. Sorry. The criterion type deals with the type of waste that is present in the landfill. You need to indicate this either with the capital letter Y or N. The provided types of waste are municipal solid waste, industrial waste, dredging materials, wastewater treatment sludge, inert materials, fly ash, asbestos, metal slags, mining waste, military waste, and other. Additionally, the tools ask to give information on the nature of the mixed waste in case you entered multiple types of waste. Either this is heterogeneous, layered, or not applicable when you are dealing with a mono landfill. When you indicated not applicable in this column, you should enter yes in the column next to it, since it indicates you're dealing with a mono landfill or not. Finally, the last column questions, if harmful waste has been spotted at the surface of the landfill during site visits. This also is indicated with a Y or N. The age of the landfill reflects the period when depositing activities took place. These are classified into five periods, before 1955, 
between 1955 and 1980, between 1980 and 1999, 1999 documented and 1999 not documented. In case your landfill was active in more than one of these periods, choose the one that represents the highest amount of active years or the highest amount of deposited waste. Additional important information is the volume of the landfill. You can choose to enter a surface area, depth below ground level as a negative figure, and height above ground level, after which the volume is calculated automatically. You can also just enter the volume without knowing the other variables. Use defines the current situation on site. For the type of cover, you can choose soil when no synthetic cover is present, geomembrane when a synthetic cover is present, or mineral cover when bentonite or something similar is used. The surface conditions are basically what is or was growing on the surface during past or present field visits. You can choose between grass, shrubs, trees, rough, which needs to be interpreted as rugged terrains with pioneer vegetation or other. For slope angle, you need to select in view of the steepest slope that can be found on the terrain. The possible answer is flat, less than 15 degrees or more than 15 degrees. If any erosion is present, please indicate this in the next column by entering none, weak or severe. If your landfill could encounter erosion in the future, you could also enter potential as an answer. Accessibility is important in the light of the redevelopment or mining activities on site. However, only the first two columns are important and included in the raw fill scoring. The other three are just a reminder of alternative transportation methods for road traffic. Are there paved roads on and around the landfill? Additionally, are these roads suitable for heavy traffic? Please answer with yes or no. As mentioned some moments ago, adding name of the closest train station, the distance to the landfill and the closest navigable waterway are optional. The last criterion, surroundings, primarily applies to the actual, being present, land use and the future land use of the landfill. First, the current situation is questioned, starting with the presence of drinking water protection zones. This can either be none, acceptable, severe or critical, depending on the proximity of drink water protection zones. More explanation on these zones can be found in the report Table of DST Indicators on the Rawfield Project website and your local drink water provider. Nature Area specifically applies to Nature 2000 or Ramsar areas. Enter a yes or no if the landfill is located in one or more of these reserves. For flooding risk, it is recommended to use local data or maps that represent the actual threat of inundation for the landfill. Choose between none, low, medium or high. The last 10 columns represent the present land use in the visible parameter around the landfill and the future potential land use of the surroundings and the landfill itself. You enter either a Y or an N for residential, recreational, agricultural, industrial or natural land use. For example, at present the landfill is located in an agricultural area. It's possible that in the future the area will be developed as residential area. The right answer, present, agricultural, future, residential. In the last column, you can add specific information and notes on the landfill that you weren't able to share in one of the previous columns. When the database is fully completed, the complete general database is ready to be used. 
please check out the data in the general database before you proceed with using the tool. Explore the existing data on the landfills you're interested in. You can use the sort and filter in the header of every column. To use the data from the general database in the tool, go to the tab Working Database. The format of the working database is identical to the general database. However, in contrast to the general database, you are able to change the data in the different fields. The ranking tool only works with the data in the working database copied from the general database with the predefined buttons. In the header of the tab Working Database, you can read how to copy the data from the general database in your own working database. You can copy the complete database or insert data by DLM ID, the Unique Dynamic Landfill Management Identification per Landfill, or by municipality. You can also choose to copy all data from the working to the general database. If you click the Reset button, the working database will reset itself. Let's test this. As you can see, the database is empty again. Repeat the copy all data command to upload the data again in the working database. At this stage, you can already calculate a ranking by clicking on the lowest button, Ranking. This button will automatically send you to the tab ELFM Ranking. The button Show Validation Circles will help you check if the data used to calculate a ranking are valid. The function will highlight errors and select empty fields which are used for the calculation of the ranking. Please note that in this working database, any additional rows you will add in this tab will not be taken into account in the calculating of the ranking. Suppose the data you received or entered in the general database are outdated, a not so far fetched idea. A side visit with the Sedalian field app encourages you to collect up to date key information for the tool. The online app can be launched in two ways first, via the link, and via the QR, QR code. Now click on the link to go to the online application. Before you go on the field to collect data for specific landfills, withhold the DLM ID of the landfills. The online application is a questionnaire designed to use when standing in the neighborhood of a landfill, doing a quick 360 degree check. The questions in the field app match with the format of the Sedelian tool. Based on the language setting of tablet or phone, a different language might appear. You can also set the right language yourself. Start with filling in the DLM number and landfill name and click on Next. If your landfill doesn't have its proper name, just enter the reference. The next questions are on the dimensions of the landfill body. If you're not certain about the dimensions, there's always the possibility to compare your answers with existing data in a later stage. On the following pages, you will be questioned on use, accessibility and surroundings. Take your time to go through the questionnaire. Choose your answers and click on Next until you arrive at the final page where you can submit the questionnaire. Before submitting, enter your email address and indicate your regional authority so they can receive a copy of your field data. To proceed, please check your email and open the Excel attached to the mail. If you don't find it in your inbox, please check your spam or contact your IT department. The mail was sent on behalf of Microsoft at powerapps.com. Paste a single row in the table in the attached spreadsheet of the Sedalian's tool spreadsheet in the sheet Results, Field Visit and process it from there as described. 
When you successfully copy the data, you can proceed to the tab Compare Field Data. You can repeat the field visit and complete the questionnaire for every landfill in the scope of your investigation. The data from the different site visits can all be copied in the tab Result Field Visit before you continue with the next steps. In the header of the tab Compare Field Data, you can carefully read the instructions. If you observe differences between the data you collected and the already available information, you can choose to run the ELFM ranking based on the old data or with the newly gathered field data. To use the newly gathered data, please change the content in the green cells and press the button Change Fields in Working Database. The button Show Validation Circles will help you check if the data used to calculate the ranking is valid. The function will highlight errors and select empty fields which are used for the calculation of the ranking. To calculate or recalculate the ELFM ranking, please proceed to the tab ELFM Ranking. You will now be able to check the ELFM ranking of all the landfills. You can click the button Recalculate Ranking to make sure the ranking is calculated with the data actually present in the working database. More information on how the ranking is calculated you can find in the Landfill Miner Guide. Use the information on the ELFM potential to discuss redevelopment possibilities for the landfill with local and regional administrations. It is possible that besides the ranking, also a quick response appears. Do not hesitate to discuss this information with local and regional administrations as well. If you would like to gain more insight on the results for one specific landfill, you can go to the tab ELFM site. Enter or choose the DLM ID of the landfill and click on Show Results. Take your time to discover the results. After running the Sedalian tool, you'll get a ranking of your landfills based on the first evaluation of the valorization potential. The higher a landfill scores at a specific criterion – waste to materials, waste to energy, waste to land – the more promising for setting up a project. However, the costs of a full-scale project remain very high and the risk of failing should be lowered by further evaluation. Lowering the degree of uncertainty is the main objective of the Orion tool. The dashboard shows you an overview of relevant models to help you on this evaluation in order to decide on the classification feasible project. In the rear mirror, Sedalian gives you the result of the past activities, ranking score, valorization potential. If these results indicate a promising project, you can press the start button. Before starting your dynamic landfill management journey, it's good to know that you're taking the right direction. This roadmap is guiding you to the most appropriate models you can use during the trip. After your landfill selection by Sedalian, a couple of easy questions will advise you to specific modeling. Based on recent experiences, a straightforward decision making is introduced to bring as soon as possible to the high potentials. Due to low commodity prices and demand, the recycling of waste is only put forward if we are talking of monofills. High homogeneity, well-known characteristics, easy to process. In all other cases, waste recycling is only considered as a valuable option if the volume is limited, easy to excavate and process, and the land value is a financial driver. The selected models explain their own strengths and deal with a specific item of the valorization and or revitalization of the landfill site. 
In the Orient Stepwise approach of this roadmap, we invest in more detailed data collection and analysis if the previous step was proven successful. For example, ONTOL, Online Tool for the Evaluation of Landfill Mining Projects, is a very powerful model and provides several default values in order to make it work with limited datasets. This implies a higher uncertainty, but in case of a good result, it's worthwhile to invest in better data and replace these defaults. Now that you've discovered the options of the roadmap, let's go back to the dashboard to illustrate what's behind the buttons. The central part with the steering wheel is symbolizing the landfill. The features inside are useful to evaluate the characteristics and the fate of the landfill waste. LF gas links you with a model designed to predict landfill gas production. The soil risk button has no link because each region or country has its own specific tools. Smart Ground offers a tool to choose the best available techniques to process the landfill waste. ONTOL was given a central position because of its relation with the United Nations Framework Classification of Anthropogenic Resources. Out of the inner circle of the steering wheel, the instruments are more related to effects and impacts coming from the outside. Flooding risks and erosion are typical phenomena which could cause harmful situations and damage to the landfill. Land pressure is often a driver to undertake action on landfill redevelopment and specific models such as Ruimte model from Vito provide prognosis on future land use. Between the redevelopment and the present might be a long period, sometimes decades. Interim use can be considered and green energy production might be an option in the meantime. The US EPA model on renewable energy might support your choices. The redevelopment of the landfill is comparable with the process of brownfield revitalization. The brownfield opportunity matrix is a relevant tool. When the redevelopment starts, quite often large quantities of waste or recycled materials must be put on transport. Many countries have specific tools to choose the most sustainable option. The dashboard can be customized in a more extensive way to provide you with all the relevant models and tools. The modeling of Sidalian and Orion also contributes to the communication process. The classification of the landfills and the proposals for revitalization products are well underpinned by data, which can help you to communicate with the different stakeholders. In the Landfill Miner Guide, more information and examples are available. Please communicate your findings with the Rawfill Partner.